Okay, we live in the crib, vibing with Vito. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on the Instagram and also on the YouTube at Vibing with Vito. You already know the slogan. We vibrating higher. And today, I got one of my favorite rappers. Personally, I always yeah. tell you, bro. I always tell you this though. Yeah, you see me. the same, the same comment when you drop shit. What I say? Favorite rapper. You know what I mean? I got I got one of my favorite personal favorite rappers in the building. You know what I mean? Also my partner. You know what I mean? Introduce yourself, big dog. Only one Felipe, man. Kid, kid, man. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Greatest rapper ever. Read and Rose finest. For sure. Yeah. For sure. sure, bro. Hey, man. My boy done came in shining. You know what I mean? I'm just happy that you're here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, let's take it back, man. Let's uh, let's start from the beginning of the journey. You know what I mean? Because we, we can go all the way back when you had the locks. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. When you've when you, you been rapping for a long time. I had baby locks. Baby locks. You know what I mean? I had the tip page. <laughs> bro, bro. Yeah. Hey, like I said, bro, you've been putting in a lot of work, man. Let's take it back. Like, how did you um, get into the music and what made you want this to uh, want this to be your life path? Uh, so it's another rapper actually by the name of Nestle who put me on music. Nestle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Nestle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we uh, went dog. to the same high school. Okay. Um, and he just seen me doing my thing. He was just like, "Yeah, man, bro, you probably you doing this, you doing that. Why you don't rap?" I was like, "I don't know how to rap." <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So this nigga, we you know, we linked up. He brought equipment to the spot. Um, and I recorded my first song. This shit was called "I'm Guapping." That shit sucked. At, I'm talking. About, it was terrible. Was it terrible? But I mean, for the time, it probably yeah, true. facts. It what, probably what, was it a futurist, like futuristic yeah, era? It was super futuristic. Okay, okay. I loved it though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like my that- neighbor, literally, I, I had because we were still using CDs. And, you know, I'm old. Okay. So, nigga, my neighbor got a got down CD of it. Man, this man spent it every, every morning. That's every hard. Morning, I wake up. I'm about to go to school. <laughs> you hear? <laughs> I'm like, that's crazy. Man. That's dope. Niggas already been supporting me from the jump. That's dope. That's like motivation, though. You know what I mean? Because it's like I feel like that ground level motivation that like sparks the fire. You know what I'm saying? When it be like your immediate circle. Yeah. You know what I mean? They start playing your music or just like, hey, bro, keep going. And then they they, they start right. supporting it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, because I would have quit. If niggas told me I sucked back then, I would have been, been left this shit. For real? Yeah, yeah. Damn, dog. Like, it was real life. My uh, support group, like people around me, that told me to keep going with the music shit. For and sure. it definitely took me somewhere. So. That's dope. That's dope. Um, before the music, like, so before Nestle like approached you with the shit, like, what what type of like what type of life were you into? You know what I mean? Like, were you a basketball player, football? Were you in like any sports? I or, always like, wanted money. I was a hustler, bro. For I sure. Would sell candy, whatever the fuck I could do, just to get some money. My mom, she wouldn't even got a Sam's Club membership for me, cause boy, I I was on it. Boy, I needed it. <laughs> facts. I, facts. I, I, was, I was basically trapping already. Right? And then, facts. You know. Facts. Yeah. Humble beginnings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That uh candy hustling was was the wave, nigga. The wave. Boy, bro. we had a save right right across from my high school. Boy, we used to tear the ass up and go straight back to school. So, you know man. what I mean? Like, I I, hey guys, too. don't do this type shit, but we just telling you what we do. You know what, what we did. You the know new what I mean? Generation, they, uh, they too lazy. They ain't finna do that no way. Yeah, them niggas entitled. <laughs> facts, facts, <laughs> facts. Let's talk about that, man. Like the new generation versus our era. You know what I mean? Like like, when you say entitled, like, you know what I mean? Do you feel that? Like, even when it comes down to, like, music-wise, too, do you feel like they just feel like everything is supposed to be given to them? I mean, don't get me wrong. I see some hard-working young niggas out there uh, just doing their thing. It's just the fact that it doesn't seem like the same grind set that we had when mm-hmm. we was trying to, like, bro, I was out at the mall passing out CDs, bro, mm-hmm. watching my shit get dropped on the floor. Like, mm-hmm. that, that shit hurt. That shit hurt, bro. I, I done did all the open mics. I done did the chit-chat and got them... You know, another nigga won because he with the nigga and that's his manager. And Facts. I done, I done got fucked over. I done, Facts. You know what I'm saying? I, I done heard all the conversations. I'm going to take you somewhere. I'm, I'm a, We got this. You know, I done been on the road. I done, so it's that grind. It's just a little different. And it's because of social media. Like, we had social media, but it wasn't the same. Mm. Like, all this shit new. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. Facts. I'm 29, so, like. When I first started rapping, my first mixtape was 2012. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't the same back then. Like we had, I, I think Instagram was out, but Instagram was out, but it was like just picture based. You feel me? Like, like we had Facebook. Put, yeah, facts. Like, I, I think I promoted music on damn near MySpace, bro. Like yeah, you feel me? Yeah, I, I definitely had music on MySpace. Bro. Facts. So like, bro, it's it's just a different type of grind set we had back then. But I mean, now you got all this. You got Triller. You got you know all this shit to Thanks. make it make sense so yeah yeah it's easier for them I do you feel it. like it's too many like platforms now bro to keep up with if we like like be if we keeping it a book like being an artist you know what i mean like because back then like all this shit off 
Exactly. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Your facts, bro. In all honesty, it got to the point where, like, you know, management and them, like, hey, man, look, get on TikTok. I'm like, TikTok? It's like, bro, like, damn. I mean, nothing against TikTok. Yeah, Please yeah, yeah, don't facts, ban facts. me, bro. Nah, hell I nah. Just, yeah, it's like too much to do, like, on your phone. Like, that take up a lot of fucking time, bro. I got to leave here and do content. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like content. It's like, So now, bro. Content's king. It ain't the music. Exactly, bro. It ain't bro. the talent. It's content. If you got the look and you really putting out that content, you're going to hit the algorithm, bro. That's facts. That's all it's about. It's facts. the Matrix now. Damn, dog. It ain't music. That's crazy. So music, you would say music is 10%. Music is mid right now. And they get Jeezy and them music last since they dropped to right now. Facts. People still listen to it to this day. Facts. Name the last song from the last five years that you going to play again. You probably play it in the moment. Mm-hmm. You going to forget about that shit in your phone. And when you see it, you probably delete it. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's probably just taking up space. You ain't really vibing with nothing. They ain't vibing with Vito. Yeah, if they ain't vibing with Vito, they ain't vibing for real. <laughs> Nigga, yeah. It's crazy, bro. I just fucked your girlfriend, and that's what all this hating for. Come on, like, bro. Bro, still, since back then, when I, you see, you always say, you know, I'm one of your favorite rappers. Nigga, you one of mine. That's yeah, crazy, I, bro. I was a fan. I was my trying nigga. to get, down, my nigga. get a beat from London on the track. Yeah. Was, I did. I still got them bitches in my email. <laughs> that I, shit crazy. I paid that nigga like three fifty for a beat, man. That's man. hard, for though. For a lease. But see, you see the grind. You feel what I'm saying? Even with that, you you put that up your... I was your, a kid. You put up your money. Like, three fifty was a lot back then, bro. Three fifty. I mean, it still is, but like... The, no, the, the not, value of a dollar was... It was different. It was different. We it, was kids that didn't have the opportunities to make... like. You know, it, it ain't even on no hating shit, but like, you know, you can scam and all that shit like that. We ain't, we ain't have all that, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I know young niggas, 20, 30,000 on them right now, walking around, you know what I'm saying? All these guns, switches and shit. Nigga, we, we got ain't. high points, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that shit. You feel me? But like I said, this is this is the culture shift. This is the the what our parents spoke to us about mm-hmm. when we was younger. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They looked at us crazy. Facts. So, you know, we looking back and we like, wow. You feel me? It really done shifted. Yeah. But I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, me too. It, it gives me a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, uh, because I know I'm a competitor. Yeah, and facts. I'm, I'm out here still doing numbers, so. Facts. With or without the label. Facts, facts. We'll talk about that too. I got a million dollar question for you, bro. I asked everybody just like in like my life journey, my life path, and everybody that sits on the couch. Mm-hmm. How big would you dream if you knew you couldn't fail? I wouldn't dream. I'd just be out here accomplishing my goals, man. I barely sleep anyway, bro. So, you know, nothing right. come to a sleep, uh, sleeper but a dream. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, in all honesty, bro, like, the goal is to just be out here taking care of your family, mm-hmm. bro. And all that, you know, all the rah-rah in between, mm-hmm. whatever you got to get to to get to your path. How you get there, that's how you get there. But facts. I just wouldn't stop, bro. <laughs> yeah, facts. There'd be nothing. If, it's, if everything's attainable, bro. I'm on that. Like, facts. I ain't never gonna stop. Facts. Facts. I die. Facts. How do you um question? That's a great question. Yeah, thank you, bro. Um, what does success look like for you? Hey man, thank you guys for watching the content, watching all of the interviews. Make sure you like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, man. Vibing with Vito. Just take one second out your day and leave a comment like or subscribe let's get back to the interview you like you know what i mean because a lot of times you know us growing up we we look at oh i want a million dollars that was just the 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 defining thing i want a million dollars i want a house and this now in 2024 what does success look like for only one felipe million dollars is middle class nigga (laughs) <laughs> exactly that's what i'm saying bro like a million dollars was like a dream like to niggas growing up you feel what i'm saying now like you said you know people that's younger than us walking around with thirty thousand in their pocket mm-hmm. number one money isn't valued right oh. it's not valued anymore no and it shouldn't be because it's a tool to help you you know what i mean get some more or take care of the people that's around you right so. but like how do you like how do you look at success what 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 deems being successful to you being financially free to do as you okay. please, um, being able to take care of family, pay your bills, all that shit like that with ease. It mm-hmm. should be easy. It shouldn't be something right. that's uh draining. Yeah, you shouldn't be out here like struggling. Like it should you still should have a hustle about you, but the bills should be nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's success. That's success. Once you finally financially free, bro, there's really not much more to it past that. Right. Unless you want yachts and shit. Yeah, facts. I don't, get no I don't give a no fuck boat. about all that. Yeah, I, facts. I rent it. I've facts. done that, but like. Facts. 
Would you take um, would you take financial freedom mm-hmm. over peace? Shit, hell yeah, because I ain't got no peace right now. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But I ain't also, used to peace. So. I, I was, I wanted you to say that. Um, so the reason why I asked that, like, financial, financial freedom can bring a sense of, of peace in a sense because, like, you don't have things like financially, that part, you don't have that to worry about. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Peace. Like, and that, bro, when you really think about like the problems that come to us in life. It be like about money or some un, unexpected shit that pop up, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And like, see, the sad part is, as men, you know, you can't even... Can't cry about it. You can't go nowhere. You can't even talk about it. You can't yeah. even talk about it. Like, who... Yeah, we skip mental, uh, men's mental health. They, they just skip that shit. Ain't nobody even say nothing about that shit. Damn. It was, I think it was like three posts I seen the whole month. Yeah, facts. And it was niggas talking about it. Facts. <laughs> it wasn't even facts. no women. No, no women facts. was like, hey, y'all okay? Right. You no, know, but... Right. We okay. How do you handle uh the stress in your life? Shit. We alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, a just, real, that's, that's a real answer. But that's a real answer. Don't do that. Don't do that, but that's real. A lot of people a lot of people kinda like lean towards that because like you said, bro, like in life as men, we can't cry about nothing, bro. Yeah. Imagine uh-huh. this, bro. You you with a, you with your girl. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? And you vent into your girl. You feel what I'm saying? They don't want to hear that shit because they want to feel like they Security. can come to you. They like they're secure. You feel what I'm saying? But like, who does who does Superman go to? Who the fuck the super in real life? Like even like who did Superman go to, nigga? His dad in the little pod. You feel what I'm saying? He had to go talk to another man. <laughs> they wouldn't even know. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's, yeah, it's, it's like that. It's like that, bro. When I um I have a slogan that I always say, right? Purpose over popularity. When I say those things, how can you put that in your own words? Purpose over popularity. I mean, shit, bro. It's like really like being in your your space, bro. Like knowing like this is what I got to do with my life. You know what I'm saying? Or or being um, confident in the fact of knowing that like I got to get this done. This is my mission. This is my goal. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Over trying to just be famous. Because like, bro, being famous is... Uh, like Take Off said, rest in peace. I'd rather be rich than famous because, boy, it ain't... It ain't always cracked up to be, bro. Sometimes you be you be out like I ain't like no superstar or nothing like that. So I, I ain't on no Hollywood shit. But I be out, I be at the mall. Motherfucker, stop me! I don't know if it's that, if it's that or, 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 or yeah. love. You so, feel so, me? And one time, nigga stopped me at the airport talking about he wanted a picture. I was like, I mean, it was a proud moment for me, yeah, but it was facts. just like, whoa, bro. Facts. I'm trying to check my luggage, brother. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts, facts. So just imagine that on Sterile. Beyonce's level. Yeah, you gotta go private. Yeah, I don't know that's if you crazy. I don't know if you know how much a private flight is, but that shit costs him, bro. Bro, like hundred thousand. When, when we really think about that, bro, like you know what I'm saying, like Beyonce, right? We look at her on TV and like she don't even seem real. Like you know what I mean? Like it, it's she so can't crazy. be okay. You, I, I'm not like yeah, but it's, I know it's it's, it's impossible. It's impossible for a person of that stature to like walk around this motherfucker like everything's okay. Yeah, you can't even take a piss without oh, somebody outside hey, the right stall down. like. Oh shit! Like you feel what I'm saying? Like oh. that's crazy. So with that, uh, with that am- amount of fame and money, how do you think Felipe will be able to function through life? I call him weed. <laughs> facts, 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 facts. But you got, you know what I'm saying? You got to find your coping mechanism, bro, and do what you can, bro, to get facts. through life, bro. Don't let nobody else tell you. You know what I'm saying? I, I would advise you know go to the gym, meditate. You know, yeah, I love I've that and shit like that too. You know what I'm saying? And I'm back on my gym wave. I done got a little heavy, but I mean, it is what it is, bro. Laptops hey. for six years. Bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, when you yeah, getting like it, when you getting it, it's just like, bro, you you eat better when you got when you financially free. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Look, so let me ask you this, bro. One word that best describes you would be what? Only one. I know there's two. Okay, okay, okay. But, but, it's, it's, but it's 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 my mentality. It's my um striving to be incomparable. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to be like, oh, yeah, I, I know somebody who, nah, you don't. Facts. You really just don't. Facts. I don't know nobody to rap like you, number one. Like, you got a different type of, it's just the flow. Like, even even when it's like, you just come on, a, on on songs, you approach songs differently. Like, you don't even care about, like, like when you come in, sometimes you be off beat, but then it's just like, it's like, it's a crazy flow. That's why I love it. You I know rap what I mean? for myself. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's my, it's a, that's another coping mechanism for me. Like, that's why I never quit. I don't got to make it. You know what I'm saying? I'd mm-hmm. be fine with or without it. But I do it because it helped me vent out 
how I feel, mm-hmm. what I'm going through, what I want to listen to in the car. Like, I listen to me. I'm, I'm like Lil Wayne. I, don't get me wrong. I listen to a, a lot of artists. Mm-hmm. But I listen to me, bro. I'll be like, man, this shit. Uh, this shit riding. Yeah. I go to the club and pay the DJ play my shit because I just want to see how everybody else vibing with Thanks. it. I don't give a fuck. Like, That's I, I like music, bro. I've always loved music. My mom... It was a singer. My dad had a studio, work with Goody Mob and all that shit like that. I've always been around music since a child, so it's just my thing. Like I love music. That's hard. That's hard. Let's let's stay right there. Um, so you've been you've been rapping for a while. You know yeah, what I mean? Um, at least you thirteen years. You were signed, right? Yeah, Republic Records. Okay. So how was that? How was that being signed? Because a lot of people kind of shy away from the whole. Oh, don't sign. We're gonna stay independent. Hell but, no. But, but how was how was that experience for you? The label is the bank, bro. You know what I'm saying? This music shit costs. Chains costs. Come on, man. Uh, outfits cost. Tour costs. Uh, hotels. The Sprinter. The, all this shit costs, man. The label is fronting you the money so you can look like it, go out there and do it and be it, and then you pay them back. It's just like a loan, bro. It's an investment. So it, 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 unless you street nigga with a whole bunch of money, a scammer with a whole bunch of money, or you come from a rich household, you're going to need a label. Ain't no such thing as uh, no making it without a label anyway. It, there's always going to be some type of label tied in. You you got distros, you got publishing. It's always going to be something tied into. Mm-hmm. They pulling from you somewhere. Facts. And if you got a manager, they pulling from they you pulling too. They pulling from you too. It, it's crazy. So even with that situation, like, you know what I mean, being signed and stuff like that, what was the most challenging, like, part about being signed too as well? Living up to their standards. Mm. It's, a, it's a standard. They want it. They want their shit back. They gave you that money, but they want it back. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So Damn. it's like one of those ones where it's like, if your shit ain't selling, you ain't got no shelf in here. But that's where you're going to be at. Damn. Damn. But so it, I, my, my shit was, I was good. We did contract separation. You know, I don't really want to get all into it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. It Respect. wasn't one of those, though. Respect. I walked away from the label. Okay, you okay. Know, I'm probably one of the only people I know who did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was like, I can, I can, I can swim in, in, in the sea. Dolo. Yeah. They gave me the starter kit though. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, they they put okay, all right. <laughs> I, I like how you said that. Starter kit. That's hard. That's hard. Um, so being the 13 years you've been making music, man, I know you listen to only yourself. If you had five of only Felipe songs that you could ride to for the rest of your life, what would those five songs be? Uh throw Hey Man in that motherfucker. I got My bad. You. Yeah. I got I, I love I, that song. I say that dog. shit all day. Hey man is I actually got that from one of my big homies. CEO, shout out CEO, twenty two ways. Okay. Oh yeah, I, he always said that shit, and it just it stuck with me from him keep saying it, and then I just started saying it, and right. it's, it's really like it's for everything. You know what I'm saying? Like we could be talking, hey man. Yeah, face, face. You know, and a lot of people they add a the little, but they saying it different. Man, they saying, yeah. hey man, say man. Right. I'm saying, hey man. Yeah. Okay. Like main. Like yeah. Hey, right. Man, right. Man, right. Hey man. Right. So, yeah. Hey man is definitely in there. And your feelings is definitely in there. I got this song called Working My Move. It's old as hell. Mm-hmm. Cash Dog took my beat. Damn. <laughs> I'll just play it. We 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 picked the same beat. Okay. She bought it. I leased it. Okay. That's how it be. That's the music you, industry. You, you, you gotta know. buy you got to buy it. If you don't buy it, you don't <laughs> right. And if somebody leased it before you like still <laughs> right, so, right, right. So uh yeah, that that'll be in there. Um You got two more. Shit. I don't know, bro. I, I'm also like this. I don't really listen to my old shit. Mm. I I be on my new shit, so it'd be like something that you ain't even heard. Right, 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 right. right. Um, I like this new project I just released. It's actually a character I created called the the bad guy. So I just made up a whole new flaw off the top of my head. Like I was just sitting there rapping. I think it was just late as hell. Um, and I just ain't feel like like rapping loud. Right. I just start whispering, and, the motherfucker, mm, 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 mm. and it, it came out like that. The first time I ever did it was single for the summer. Damn, I put that on there. Damn. I like that song. I like that Facts. beat. It's, Facts. it's got a lot of dynamic range to it. Facts. I be engineering this shit too, so that's hard. Let me tell. Let me tell you one of my like favorite things about you. Like when you put out videos and like when you pick the songs that you getting ready to drop. Like you actually actually have a visual image that goes with it that makes the fans follow you on the song right you feel what i'm saying like when you were digging the grave and you were rapping and shit like that yeah, i killed the old me with say hello to you know what i'm saying like with the suit on like it was it was just like this nigga this, who, who this nigga think he is bro yeah, this nigga like fire that. as hell like like you know what i mean like and people people look shit shit look at your shit and be like they shouldn't have no hate 
about it. If they're artists, they should look at th- that and be like, bro, okay, sure. that's art and that's something that I should kind of draw from. You know I what I mean? I just feel like right now, bro, it's not music. Half the shit ain't. It's a rap is a boast for art. A lot of these folks talking about shit they don't got or they aspire to have. Even rappers that's out with millions and millions of dollars. They don't, man, come on. How they got all that? It don't even make <laughs> right, sense. Right, 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 right. You, you got 109 cars, nigga? No. <laughs> right, right, right. But right. what I'm saying is, it's just like with music, bro, it's the entertainment industry, bro. I mm-hmm. think people forget that. Entertainment. Say that again. Entertainment industry. Facts. So why are you not being entertaining? Why you don't want to give somebody something to look at it's a visual it's, it has to have a visual representation the music has to be in a certain pocket the mixes have to be a certain way and like i said i engineer my own shit so recipe swiss he used to mix me before that and um okay yeah so like it just is one of them things where like we used to sit in the studio and be like this is the sound for this project it has to sound a certain way the reverb on all of it has to be the almost the exact same identical yeah, like i need it to sound a certain way it has to be in a certain pocket, a certain space. So, like, that'd be the problem with a lot of the music nowadays that doesn't make it remember, that's, I'm rememberable. Rememberable, yeah. yeah. We, both, we both botched that word, too. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't nothing to remember. Damn. You just press record and record it. Right? And just go. You don't care. Facts. Why don't nobody care no more? You know I, I don't know, bro. One like, person I say care, Kanye, mm-hmm. future care. Mm-hmm. As much as he act like he don't care, it's on purpose. He's a char- he put himself into a character. Mm. That man put himself in a space and just phew, like facts. I look, I look up to bro. Like yeah, I, I love yeah. I love how he getting that that zone. He be like yeah, it's time for facts, this. facts, facts. You know, facts. future in another mode. I actually it's funny. I, I stole that from him. Where switch up the hair every time you drop a project. If you look at future every time you drop a project, it's hair different. Oh damn! I did I did not know that. Yeah, that's crazy. He went blind. All the way, he had the blonde halfway, two strands, all that. Like, he always do something different. He done wicked it up, you know, cut it shorter. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, facts, like, facts, I facts. did the same thing. If you look at my projects in order, bro, I, I had like little street nigga locks. Then I went goddamn more like more uniform, cleaned up for the only one, too, when I was with the label. Mm-hmm. You know, got away from the label, kind of went another way. I had longer hair, then I cut it shorter, and I went blonde for super. You know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah, that was an emulation of people. Yeah, yeah, facts, 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 yeah. And then your artwork be crazy too, bro. Like, everything. I draw so- it at first. I draw. Okay. I can't draw. But I draw it. I put it in paper, draw how I want it in my mind. I go to sleep by my music. I dream about it. I need it. I need this to come out this way. Face. I don't know. I just get in that zone, bro. When about the music, and 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 I like I like that you take this shit serious. You know what I mean? Like you said, a lot of people don't care no more, and like we need more artists that do care. You know what I mean? Hopefully, like, so the music can come back. Facts, absolutely. Can do we got like some music on you? You got some shit that we can play? Can yeah, we play yeah. uh Hey Man or, or something like that? Uh, oh, right now. whichever whichever one you want to play. That's my shit right there. I ain't gonna Let's lie go. to you, bro. For sure. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Turn it up a little bit. Billy Bye. Bimo. We in front. We in front. We on front. AC knows. I've been working. Need a haircut in the shade. You the witch on mobile. Why you wearing a shade? I've been in my bag. I feel just like a lady. Oh, God. Bro, like, it's the flow. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when I when I first heard it, I was like, what the fuck? I'm like just riding to it. I'm like, it made me like, bro. Like I was like, bro, this shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little comedic with it. Like I, I threw a lot of shit out there at people. You want me to pause? Now we can just talk. Like, I um, I threw a lot of shit out there at people. Like just, you know, like why are you doing that? Like, you right. live with your mama. Why are you buying? Right, <laughs> right, 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 bro. You know, right, I mean? right, right, right. Like that is like. I'm trying to, it's like almost like not talking down, but talking at. At, at a person. Okay. Okay. You know that, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Um, Damn, bro. Like, I, I like the fact that you just on that type time, like, and you care, bro. Like, that that means the most 
out of everything that we talked about. Artists bro. start caring again. Bro, start caring again, bro. Start Care fucking caring about the music, bro. But anyway, dog, hey, I appreciate you for coming to vibe with Vito, bro. Like this It's a blessing, bro. This this meant a lot to a nigga, bro. Cause like bro, I fuck with your music, bro. Real shit. Like, and I feel like niggas need to get back into that too. Like telling the next person that they like their shit. Yeah, like, don't nobody get nobody flowers no more. Yeah, everybody bro, cool like, as hell. Well, everybody cool as hell. They in fake cool. City. They fake cool. Atlanta is the coolest city in the world. Facts, so facts. Everybody got the Hellcat. Everybody yeah. got facts. A P. Facts. You know. Niggas be fake cool though, bro. Niggas, niggas, the niggas don't really. They be hating on niggas behind it. Like, bro, if I tell you, bro, I really like your shit, bro. I'm playing your shit, and I'm telling. I know you. And, do, and you I tell told me shit about I, my music, and I told you this multiple times, bro. And it's it's no cap. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like me. Giving you your props is not going to hurt me. It's not going to take anything away from what I'm doing. Man, putting people in position ain't going to take nothing away from your Facts. motion. It's, just, it's always something, bro. Everybody in competition, bro. I ain't competition with nothing by myself. That's why it's only one. Facts. It's only one, man. Tell the people where they can find you, B-Dog. Only one, Felipe, on all platforms. That's O-N-L-Y-O-N-E-F-E-L-I-P-E. Facts. Felipe. Facts. And go get the uh, Bad Guy project that just dropped, man. Yes, sir. Guarantee is bad guy. crazy flows on that motherfucker. And I appreciate this nigga's project. Hey, man, you already know. Thank you for coming to Vibe with your boy. It's been another episode of Vibing with Vito. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on the YouTube. And you already know the slogan. We vibrating higher. We gone. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hey, man, I know y'all watching the interview and stuff like that, but I'm an artist too as well. I go by the name of Just Call Me Vito. Make sure that you tap in with all of my music, uh, all of the content and stuff like that. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Just Call Me Vito. I got a project coming called Shit Hit Different with my boy Sauce Lord Rich. Y'all be on the lookout for that too. Let's get it.